Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you my food shop, which is a little bit different to how I've done before. So if you're not new here, then you'll know that we like to shop local or better treated meats, vegetables from farmers. So we tried Abel and Cole for a few weeks, which is like this online place and they get their meats from um, farmers and things like that. And it's all like organic. Um, but I didn't really get on with it that much because I thought it was quite expensive what it is and I've bought a lot of organic in the past so I do know that it's already more expensive but this was like quite a lot more. We went to a few farm shops around here at the weekend and we found one we really like. We way overbought completely. I'm really happy with what we got and it will be something that hopefully we will use more often um, but just in a smaller quantity next time. My eldest two are with my dad today. He lives a couple of hours away, it's like more than a couple of hours, like two and a half hours. And he's taken them, it's Monday today, um, it's just, it's nearly lunchtime. He's taken them um, until Wednesday afternoon, evening. So it's a very long time and like they're quite far away. So it makes me kind of a bit uneasy. Um, not like anything to do with my dad, just the distance, knowing that they're that far if anything happens. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you everything I got. I also went to Tesco and I got like essential bits I needed from there but I don't need any meats because we got them in the freezer enough for the week so this is just a fruit, veg and like milk essential sort of shop um, it's half term so I have all the children at home at the moment um, so I need a lot of yoghurt so I've got a lot of yoghurt so you like to eat yoghurt um, and you don't realise like I buy a couple of packs of yoghurts and then in a couple of days they're gone because I don't realise there's actually four children eating yoghurts. So, in a couple of days, that's eight yoghurts. And actually, Rue and Flossie have one in the day when the boys are at school, so it's actually like the whole lot gone. But yeah, I'm going to show you everything now. I'll let you know how much it was, because I think the farm shop was a really good price. And I'll show you my Tesco shop too. So, I got their milk, because I like non-homogenised milk. So we've heard that this dairy um, has non-homogenized milk and we just got what we could get because I don't have a huge stock there so these two pints were £1.65 each and then we got this one which I think has got a little bit less in it but not too much less that was £1.25 and then they do this cool glass jar which is just why we bought it to be honest and it looks so creamy too I don't think you can see it looks so creamy and the jar was £1.39 and then we got this bread, and it didn't actually have a price on it at the time, but we won't buy it again because it was just too expensive. So that was £2.95, and it, it's too much for a loaf of bread. I would never pay that again, um, but at least we know now. And we're just thinking now, we're just going to make our own bread because we have a bread maker. So we're going to start making our own bread. So we got some spinach, which was only 90p, and it's like quite a nice big bunch of it. We got two different cauliflowers because they just look really nice, don't they? So we got this one, which is bright orange. My camera is actually not in a good colour at the moment. Let me just try and change that. I think that might be better. My exposure was wrong. Um, so we got two. They were £1.85 each. And then we got this big purple one, which is huge. And we were just drawn to them for their nice colours. But they look really nice, don't they? We got a cabbage. I really like cabbage. I love it like fried in butter. And that was £1.35. We got two lots of blueberries, which were £2.50 each. And then we got two lots of strawberries. And the strawberries were £2.80 each. They do look so nice. They are like so red. A big box of apples. They've got different names. I think these ones were called Emily, but I cannot tell you what the others were called. So like you get quite a lot in them. And these were three for £5. So we've got two apples and a pears. And yeah, I just think like pears and apples are usually really expensive, especially when you buy them organically. Got two bags of potatoes, which were 90p each. And I think that's quite a good price for potatoes. I got a lettuce. They had quite a few different ones, but I thought this one just looked really nice, even though it's just a lettuce. Um, it was £1.80 and I just think it just looks really nice and fresh. We got a couple of cheeses because we're just trying different cheeses for Christmas. They're quite expensive though. So this was £5.50 and this is cider, herbs and garlic. They are really nice. And this one was £5.82 and this is called Tam's Tipple. Um, yeah, it's just like really strong, it's really nice. And then two corn on the cobs, they were two for 
today. We got a bag with some green beans in it, which was, that was two pounds. There's quite a lot of them in there though. Um, we got some spring onions, which were 85p. We got some red grapes. They come in like a nice little bag. We got some red onion chutney. We got 10 satsumas. I think satsumas are usually quite expensive. Um, that was five for £1.50. So we got 10. And we got some kiwis, which were 40p each. A lot of bananas because all the children are at home. They eat a lot of bananas. And the bananas were £1.87, which is actually really good, isn't it? £1.87 for all of those. Usually I pay £1.50 for a small um, packet. And then I got a red and a yellow pepper, which were £1.41. So that's everything I got from the farm shop. I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to show you everything that I got from Tesco, which is not a lot. I think I spent £64. I've got a toothpaste for Horatio, which was £1.75. And then a mouthwash, one for Cosmo and one for Horatio. So I actually bought drinking yogurts, but they didn't have any, so I've replaced them with those, which is actually... Really annoying, I actually didn't realise that till now. And um, because children love drinking yogurts, that's why I got them. And then I got these, because I don't think Horatio likes them. <laughs> They're a bit stranger, like solid yogurt, but I thought the youngest two would definitely like them. And then some Yo Valley banana and custard, just because the flavour sounded really nice. And then a packet of little ones. I got these for like their cakes after dinner. So they're milk slices, these ones are so nice. They're £1.10, both of them. Um, and there's like a chocolate one and then a milk one. I got some cheese. I got some kitchen foil. And then some sweet chilli sauce. This is like the best price one. That was £2.50. I love the sweet chilli sauce with everything. I got some shampoo. I never know what to use, but that was £3. And yeah, the packaging attracted me. Some ketchup, which was £3.50. They didn't actually have a big selection at all. Some mayonnaise, which was £2.50. And I thought I only got one of these. I definitely don't need two. I don't know if I paid for two or not. That was £2. And I will use that with the cauliflower. We're going to do cauliflower cheese. I got some kitchen towels. Um, we normally always buy plenty. But again, I thought I'll try the shop's own because plenty is so expensive. So we'll see how that goes. And some pull-up pants for Flossie. She keeps wetting through her bed in the evenings um, at night time. So I thought we'd see how we get on with those. Hopefully it works because they're quite expensive. I got some Halloweeny bits, so I don't know 100% what we're doing on the day. I still need to sort of plan it out. And um, we always have like a really nice Halloween day. I got them some snap bands, so they'll be like a prize. I got a pin, the smile on the pumpkin. We love doing these. We find it really funny. Some um, badges that says best makeup, best costume, and creative costume. So Flossie won't be on So the three boys can all win something. <laughs> Uh, we, I already got a piñata, so I don't know if you saw before on my Ocado food haul, I got like a really small piñata. Um, Ocado did actually refund it for me, and I did say I'd give it back, but they didn't say I had to. Well, they said don't worry. Um, and then I got a big pumpkin one from Hobbycraft, which was £6. And I've just got this, which was £3, so they can wear a blindfold and bath it with that. Um, I got some wound tattoos because tattoos always go down well here um they will love these we had them last year i think they were a pound and then some fake blood which was a pound or a pound fifty and i did get some jaffa cakes black currant ones but they substituted for these which the boys will just be so happy with and actually they're perfect i can keep them for halloween they've got jam in the middle that's got chocolate in the middle um but they don't grow out to eight for a little while so they'll be good to keep I got some nappies for Flossie in the day because I cannot afford to put her in those all day every day. Um, and I find nappies easier anyway. Do you know like when they wear pull-ups you have to like take all their trousers and everything off? That's a lot easier. They were £3. And a big packet of Pepsi Max which was £8 because we will definitely drink this over Halloween. Um, yeah, so that is everything that I got. So that is everything I got in my shop. Um, little Lilac is asleep very soundly she's like scratched me really badly um flossie's napping rue is watching monster Inc. and the boys are with my dad as i've said so for a food truck for a week i would usually budget myself at about 130 but recently i've been coming like way above that so i'm really happy with this because i think what i'm going to do is try and leave my meats that i've got in my freezer for as much as i can 
and do lots of veggie dinners because yeah we've got so many vegetables we went over the top so what we'll do is next time have like a plan of our meals in the week and just sort of plan what we actually need and we'll spend a lot less but yeah i'm not really 100% what our meals are going to be this week because monday tuesday wednesday the boys will be with my dad so they'll have dinner at his house so it would just be me and curtis lilac goes to bed at half five by half five she's asleep for the night she does wake up in the night but she goes she feels really uncomfortable at the moment but yeah she goes down at half past five um, and she will sleep anywhere from like five hours to longer normally around five and a half hours um, and then she'll wake up, feed and go back to sleep and then it just depends on the night how much she wakes up but yeah, she doesn't sleep through the night she does do a good little stretch though so she goes down at half past five Flossie and Rue go half past six so from half past six we're going to be on our own, no children which is very strange because I know the children will be here they're going to be in bed but normally we have Cosmo and Horatio around us especially as it's a half term, they'll be up later um, so yeah, for a few nights no, for two nights, two nights we will have a very easy evening, I think. Dinners and that are just definitely gonna vary. We have the boys back on Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, Curtis has not got much work on, so we're hoping to do something. Saturday, Sunday will be our Halloween weekend. We might go pumpkin picking, and we'll definitely have lots of activities and that on the Sunday and then go trick or treating on the Monday. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is I don't know how our dinner's gonna go, so I'm just gonna take each day as it comes. That is everything. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did like my video, then please do subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos. And I can hear from you, hopefully, because I love hearing from you all. I think you're just also kind. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely week and I think what I look I might be waking up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and just relax now and just sit down and relax. And hopefully I will see you on my next video.